In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Adobe After Effects and AE Juice to create an amazing lyric video. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, you want to first begin by importing your music. So we'll go to Project, then we'll go into our Finder, and we'll just drag our music into Adobe After Effects. Now I'm just going to drag that into our composition, and we'll go down into this drop-down arrow, select Audio, Waveform, and that is our waveform. So I've moved the track into its correct position, and I'm going to do these next four lines with the animation. So we're just going to listen back to the track now. First line. Second line. Third line. Fourth line. So we're now going to begin by doing this first line. What can I do? So I'm just going to put in a little marker. So I'm just going to put layer, new, solid. And I'm just going to select Command, Shift, and D to cut that at the end of that first line. We can hide this. We're just going to use this as a marker so we know where to use the kinetic typography. What can I do? So that is the first line. So we're going to go into the kinetic typography pack in AE Juice. And now from here, you can see we've got 50 different animation posters. So we can select any one of these. I'm going to go ahead and select this option here. Amazing results. We'll import this. Now we're going to scroll towards the end of that dark gray solid. This is our marker and we'll hold command shift and D and then we'll just delete the last half of that. So we've got this animation lasting for that first line. So we're going to go into that poster. We're going to double click. So from here, we're just going to go into that poster. We're going to double click. And as you can see, we have got our text one and text two compositions. So we'll go into text one and we can change this to what can, and then we'll go back to our other composition. We'll go to text two. And the next half of that is what can I do? So I do, what can I do? So now that we've changed the words here, we're just gonna turn that layer off. We'll go to the next line. What can I say? And we're going to make another marker. So we'll copy that dark gray solid. Hold Command C and Command V. We'll move that over. And then we'll hold Command Shift D at the end of the line. What can I say? What can I say? So we've got four words there. So we're going to go back into our AE Juice pack. And we can go ahead and select another animation style. So this is completely up to you which one you choose here. I'm going to select this one, Around the World. We'll import this. Now we're just going to drag that animation over to the start of the other. So we're just going to drag it here. Around the World. We'll just drag that down so we keep track of where that is. And we're just going to cut the end of it off at the end of this. So Command Shift D and we'll get rid of that section here. So this is our second line. So we've got, what can I do? What can I say? So this second line is, what can I say? So we'll go into that composition. We've got our text 01. And we're going to change this to, what can I say? Of course, you are more than welcome to change the typography. You can change the font. In order to do that, we'll go into character. And we'll change this from Helvetica to another font of your choice. So we'll select impact. We'll just close all of the compositions except for the main composition. And you can see that has now updated in this main composition. Now we'll turn that layer off. We'll go to our third line. Please make it undone. So we're going to go ahead and copy the gray solid again. Command C and V. We'll move that over. We'll find the end of that third line. Please make it undone. Now we'll go back to AE Juice Pack and we'll select another preset. We'll select this one here, this circle animation, we'll press import. 
and then we'll just drag that on top of that third dark gray solid and we'll drag that on top of everything but underneath the audio we'll turn off that layer for now just play back please make it undone so we'll turn that layer back on we'll go into its composition by double clicking go into text and we're going to change the text to please make it undone Now, whilst we're in this there, we want to make sure that we fill this entire circle. So you can go ahead and copy all of that text, make a space and paste it in again. And we'll do that one more time. Please make it undone. Please make it undone. Please make it undone. Cool. Now we'll just close that down. We'll go back to our main composition. We'll cut the end of this composition off. So hold command shift D. And then we'll just delete that last half of that. Turn this layer off. Now the next line is what you did to me so we're going to go back into our ae juice pack manager we're going to select another preset so let's select power we'll import that press import and we'll just drag that underneath the audio make sure the audio is sitting at the top we'll go into this composition go into text and the line was what you did to me now, of course, that is way too big at the moment. So we're just going to decrease the size of this. Make sure that it roughly fills that box. And then we'll pull this up so that it's in the middle. We'll close this down. And as you can see, this is pink and purple at the moment. If you wanted to change the colors, then you just select controls. Go to effect controls. And you can see we've got text color one, two, background color one, two, texture on off, background on off. So we're just going to look at the text for now. So we've got a blue to red. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to change this to a yellow into a purple. We'll select OK on that. It's going to take a few minutes for this to catch up. But as soon as that does, we can just close that down. And now from here, we can just turn on all of our previous animation layers. So we've got poster 7, 37, 40 and 4. Now, if you wanted to change one of these presets, that's completely fine. You can do that by first going into the composition that you want to get rid of, figuring out what line it was. So this was, please make it undone. So from here, we're just going to delete that preset. We'll go into AE Juice Pack Manager, and you can just select a, another preset. Let's select this option. So we'll press import, and then we'll just drag this where it was supposed to sit. So we'll put this. Put this at the end of line two and we'll cut the end of it just before line four comes in. So command shift D, delete that. We'll drag that down. And I believe the line was, please make it undone. So we'll go text one and we'll change the word. And of course, if we go into controls, you can see that we can change the color of all of these. So we've got the background color. We can change the background color one to a green. We can change the text color and we'll change that to a pink. Of course, this is going to look horrendous with that combination of colors, but it doesn't matter for now because I'm just showing you a quick example. And there you go. That's updated and added that extra preset onto our lyric video. And there you go. If you've edited lyric videos inside of Adobe After Effects before, then you'll know they're going to take you hours and hours, days and days, potentially weeks and weeks to finish the project. But using AE Juice's Kinetic Typography plugin for After Effects is a quick and easy way to make a lyric video in a very short amount of time. So there you go. That is the AE Juice Kinetic Typography plugin. I've got a link to it in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. And thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.